I'm Brain, I'm 21, I'm a singer and songwriter. I'm also a student, I study communications, and uh, there's a lot more to me, but you have to listen to the music for that. Smell of your perfume lingers on my sheets. Maybe you're not here cause you're selling drugs. Now I'm going cold, overplaying Lord. Said you had a good time, baby. You kiss me on your way out saying you text me. And I'm still waiting. Touch me like no one's ever. You knock down all my barriers for pleasure. Now I want closure. So when I get dressed, usually before a show, one of my rituals is putting on this Atovlo uh, song called Disco Tits. <laughs> my music is very coming of age. I talk about growing up a lot. Uh, it's very dancey for me and uh, very personal, um, yet also very broad. So a lot of people can identify to the songs even though they didn't specifically live what I, uh, lived, um, but there are some very specific lines for the ones who grew up like me. I was born in Rwanda in 1999, the 26th of June, uh, 5.30 p.m. if you want to be specific. Um, I was born there, I lived there with my dad and my mom and my big brother, who is also, fun fact, born the same day as me, just two years apart. I came to Belgium uh, in 2013, uh, lived in the Asylum Seeker Center. It was very peculiar and very hard to say also. <laughs> there wasn't a lot to do there, uh, so I spent most of my time reading and watching TV shows and kind of like dreaming of being elsewhere. It's very hard to dream when you live in a center because uh, you don't know what tomorrow is made of. I could be deported tomorrow or I'm gonna stay in this center for like five more years. You never really know because the process are very long. Um, and so I never, I always made music. I. I'm one of those people who are, are going to say that I, I've been writing music music since I was like, I don't know, nine or something. 
very bad songs, but I've been writing since then. Um, and it's always been something I love to do. I grew up watching Glee, like High School Musical, all of those musical things that made me want to become a singer. But it was never really something I thought was going to happen for me. Because the most obvious thing was like, oh, I finish high school. If I get my papers, I will be able to go to uni. If I don't, then I don't know, maybe work. It was always, I had to be realistic. And when you're overly realistic, uh, you don't dream a lot, I think. Um, so it was until I got, we got our papers that I was like, actually, now I can do whatever I want. Why not go for the most ambitious and wild thing I've ever dreamt of? And that was music. And I'm glad I did, because, well, <laughs> now I'm here. So yeah, it was hard, but uh, I think it made me who I am. I didn't really choose to become an activist. I have to become one because, well, I'm black and I'm also queer. So there's a lot of injustice that comes with uh, those identities. Uh, and so, yeah, I fight for my rights to basically exist and be safe and walk down the street without fearing anything. I don't know, it's, it's, it's weird to say, but, uh, and it sounds kind of corny, but I just want everybody to be equal. I want equity for everyone. Uh, and basically that's what I'm about. I don't think we can separate being black and queer. Uh, it's like, um, I, I can fight for like uh, black lives, uh, but then again within the black community, I have to fight, to fight for the black queer 
people because queerphobia doesn't have any color. It's like everybody is. There's always something, someone who's gonna say something. Me walking down the metro, I'm like always constantly reminded of how uh, horrible this world can be. All I do is tell stories. Uh, not all of my uh, music is explicitly political, but as I said, as a black and queer person, everything I kind of live and everything I say becomes political. If I write a song about uh, walking down the street and being harassed because I was holding someone's hand, I'm just telling my story, but it's also political. It, it, you cannot separate those things. If I talk about um, one of the songs on my uh, EP called Other Boys, is about um, being okay with myself, being okay with me being dark skin uh, and, and not wanting to change for anyone. Even if it's just this party song, low key, about love, uh, it's also still political. I'm not rich yet, so all of my chains aren't necessarily real, but as long as they look cool. <laughs> I'm very free in what I wear. Uh, I don't like to conform to gender like stereotypes of like what a, a man is supposed to wear. Uh, and so at the point, at the moment where I realized that I didn't have to conform to gender roles and stereotypes, I became much more explorative with what I wear. Fashion is a form of expression that I really like because you can explore with so many things and it's like, I like changing things up with my, my style and like making me look like a different person. I can be very masked, I can be very femme. Also, I don't want to look on stage like I do in my normal life. Uh, I like to look a bit more, I don't know, hot, I guess. I would love to make a second EP. I'm working on it as we speak. I would love to tour, but that's not happening at the moment. Uh, I would love to become very rich so I don't have to stress about uh, financing my projects. Because when you're independent as an artist, it's very hard when you don't know a lot of people either because you don't come from here. I feel like if you don't have any expectations, it's hard to um, project yourself in the future. But if you have too many, <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's hard also because the calm down is very hard. <laughs>